Hello and welcome to another command block tutorial. Today's video we're going to be going over how to make some rocket boots. Uh, it's going to be a shorter video today since I had a longer one last time. Alright, let's jump right into it. So to start off, I'm going to be showing the commands in the new version of the execute command. And then I'm going to show them the old version. But I'm only going to show the old version long enough for you to pause and copy if that's the type of execute you're using when you're making this in your world. However, before we start, there's one thing I want to go over because I've seen a lot of comments about it and I've seen a lot of people asking me about it in my Discord. Uh, yeah, in commands, never use parentheses. Uh, always use braces and brackets, never parentheses. And when you're looking at a video, I do understand it's very hard to tell the difference between these, but just a heads up before you try to copy any commands, don't use parentheses, braces, and brackets only for commands. You never use parentheses in commands. Okay. Beyond that, let's get straight into the video. So to start off, we're going to be using chain boots, and it's only going to work if I have chain boots on. So as soon as I strap these on, now all I have to do to activate my rocket boots is look down. And you can see it can, I can, it can of course move around. So as I look down, I can look up a little bit to kind of turn it off so I don't go quite as high. And you can also see, of course, that I have a sound and I have a little particle trail like fire jets coming out of my feet. All right, so now let's get into the actual commands. All right, so to start off, we have a basic effects command. We're using a has item to check for chainmail boots, seeing if they're on their feet. Then we're using RXM60. Now that means it is that is detecting the direction you are facing. So in this case, RXM is basically saying you are looking 60 degrees or below the horizon of the center. So if I'm looking right at the horizon, then my, R, then my RxM is zero. So if I look down about 60 degrees, so about two thirds from the center of my screen, then it's gonna start. So you can adjust that number. If you wanna make it so you don't have to look down as much, you can make this number lower. If you wanna make it so you have to look straight down, you can make the number all the way to 90. So feel free to go ahead and mess around with this. Additionally, if you wanted to make it so you have to look up, you would remove the M so it's just RX and then it works exactly the same way, but going up instead of down. Then beyond that, we of course have the levitation effects. And that's just for one second with the timer uh, or with the effect of six and then true so we don't get particle, particle effects. All right, the next command is exactly the same except we are using Rx instead of Rxm. So this is saying now, if I am looking above 60 degrees, then give me levitation zero for zero seconds. This is gonna cancel my levitation, that way it's not activating for like a couple seconds, or a second or so afterwards. That way you actually have way more control when you're doing it this way. This is basically, like I said, this is going to cancel it out, so that way you have more control when you're flicking up and down, trying to control your momentum. All right, then beyond that, I'm also giving the player slow falling for one second when after they activate their boots. It's the exact same command once again, except we have slow falling instead, just for one second. And this kind of lets you hang in the air a little bit. And if you're kind of wobbling up and down, you can kind of keep your height a little bit better. So that's basically all you need for the thing to actually work. However, if you want to make it a little fancier, you of course want particle effects. So in this one, we have an execute, and then we're using as, and I'll, see, I'll explain why in a second, and then we're also using at, and then we're using at, at s. So you can do this when you're converting any type of command to the new version. You do as, and then you do whatever the entity should be, then you do at, and then at s. That just means it's gonna be doing as and at for the same person. At, once again, changes the position of the command. As changes who or what entity is doing the command. And that's important because over here, we have these little carrot figures and that's 0.15 to the side. So that way it's gonna look like it's one of my feet. Then up here, we have the exact same command, exactly the same way, since we have a negative right here. This is gonna basically make sure that the particles are my other feet. Just so I have two particles, it looks more like rocket boots that way. Final command is the play sound command. So this can be just at, we're not using as because I don't care about my rotation or anything like that for the play sound. I'm just using at to change the position of the command. 
and then we have exactly the same thing. We have the play sound commands. Then I'm using the gas fireball sound. It's going to play anybody within 10 blocks. It's going to play at normal volume, and it's going to be 0.7 pitch, which slows down the sound a little bit. But for the most part, that's just kind of cosmetic stuff. I really highly encourage you guys to mess around with this number whenever using play sounds. Uh, this is going to change the pitch. It's going to speed up or slow down sounds, so you can kind of get a sound more similar to what you actually want. And it's really fun to play around with. All right, that's the six commands that you need just to make rocket boots with the new execute. And just to show you, I have everything powered, always active, and no delay in ticks. And now just quickly, I'm going to go through the old version of the execute commands. So first three, there's no change because there's no execute in here. They're exactly the same for both versions. It's only for the cosmetic stuff. So in this version, it's going to work. As you can see here, it's not going to be working because it's going to give me some errors because I'm using the different type of execute and this world has the new version active, not the old version. But this is how you're going to do it if you're in the old version. So execute, add A, and then you just do your three tildes and then you do the particle commands. This command is going to be exactly the same except for doing negative here in this set of coordinates. And this command is going to be pretty much the same as well as the last two, except for using play sound instead of particle. All right, and that's basically it for the commands. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be a shorter video today. Uh, however, there was a few other things I wanted to discuss. Number one, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. However, I also recommend joining our Discord. Uh, you'll likely hear back sooner. I'm more likely to respond to the Discord. And there's some other people in the Discord who are always willing to help out and answer questions if you have any. Additionally, I am like, 22 subscribers I think from being able to spam you guys with really annoying community posts and just completely useless information all the time and I would really appreciate if you gave me this completely arbitrary power so uh, make sure you subscribe and if you have any other ideas for videos leave them in the comments additionally if you'd like me to do more showcase videos where I kind of make something and then just show you how to make it instead of teaching you how to use a command specifically let me know in the comments Bye.